Okay then, moving on to the next match. Would you please welcome to the stage, he's the producer of the Pitchside Podcast. It's Ring Sting, Lewis Bode! And next up, would you please welcome his opponent. With over 900,000 followers on Twitch, he has played on the match play and Premier League stage. It's Pyfe! Green light, let's get it. I'm the future, I'm in it. Check score, I'm winning. Green light, let's get it. I just win, 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 win. I'm on fan. 10, 10, 10, 10. Hello, I'm Timothy. I got the recipe. I got the flow. I got the remedy. Well, it's thirsty work, isn't it? Making all those steps on the way up to the stage there for Pie Face. This is our last game in the quarter-final stage, the opportunity to move through to the semi-finals to take on the darts referee, who just before the break took out the pair's winner in George Scafey, so there won't be a double happening for George. Pie Face will be fancying his chances, though, coming into this game on the evidence of what we see all in the pairs. Lewis Bolden was... Let's just say the grouping wasn't quite there when he was taking on Pie Face in the pairs game when Ted Everts and Shane McGirt was the professionals helping him then. out on that First occasion. Leg, but there is no help first. now for Pie Face and for game Lewis on. Bolden. But I do have one of the players up here with me. It's the former Youth World Champion from 2021. It's Ted Everts. Hello. That was a few years back now. <laughs> no, it's been a great day for sure being down here for this event obviously going to be for a great 49. charity whichever the winning choice ends up to be um but yeah definitely been a good laugh nice atmosphere out the back as well he has mentioned to me off air that lewis bolden's a bit of a character down there yeah yeah for sure it's um to be fair i was expecting maybe a few different personalities and whatever than i actually have come to see um but yeah for sure it's been good laugh and they're definitely enjoying it as we can see there what a polite way of putting it different personalities <laughs> i like i'm going to use that one i'm stealing that one ted 26. to be fair pie out the back three one eight is warming up and stuff like that so he definitely can throw well he on his Twitter, he put they hit a nine data on Monday in preparation for this. <laughs> it, it was 301, but still a 301 nine data is a very good one. Oh, well, Standard average. Thank you. Yeah, cheers for reminding. See if he can bring a little bit of that to this game. I'm sure at the moment that the darts referee will be in the back room, probably quite happy with what he's seen so far Not from the pair. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he'll be more than happy with his own performance, I think, compared to the uh, pairs event earlier. Do you find that the players in the back, the influencers that are taking part, are they watching the screen? Are they seeing what the other guys are doing? It's been a bit of a mix, really. Like, half of us have been chatting away and just sort of getting to know each other and then sort of chill out no, and turn around and watch the screen for a little bit. Just more when you're hearing the big scores and sort of like cheering each other on. Well... I said the grouping left a little bit to be desired. <laughs> and doubles seem to be a bit of a problem at the moment as part of this influencer section. So maybe he's just getting a little bit of practice in. 17. Warming up for the back end of the legs. This is something that regulation-wise, if this was a traditional game of darts here at the Super Series, you'd probably take a bit of homage to in the guards of Lewis Bowden, almost walking straight back Nine, down the hockey. Yeah, I mean, first time's on stage for someone like Lewis, so... Obviously, the etiquette, shall we say, is slightly different. Um, but now, nah, you can, like we say, we're here to all enjoy ourselves, and you can see he is thoroughly doing so. 21. 
Oh, he's absolutely having a, a great time up there and a, a rare appearance in regards to darts for Lewis Bolden. I do like to get a little bit of feedback from all the players when they first arrive here. 41. And, well, I asked, where have you played darts before? He's claimed he's going to hit a Nothing. 180 just for everyone. Best moment yeah, in darts yeah, when let's throwing? Go 180. Let's get this Nothing. <laughs> 180. But, he said that his favourite darts event is the Modus and the Super Series, so maybe he's going to be tuning in next week to be watching you, Ted. Hopefully he'll be watching me win. <laughs> 121, yeah, OK. <laughs> Check 30. Five phase should require 158. Five face will just 30. be thinking, just stay steady, just pull this down, find himself the opportunity because I've got a feeling Lewis Bowden may not be taking it out too quickly. <laughs> not with this visit for sure. <laughs> uh, to be honest, for Pyle it Five needs to be now, just keep him nice and straight and then over time he'll have more than enough opportunities in the leg. Reminder for you that this doesn't go until a double is hit as such. We 56. give the players 51 darts per leg. At the end of 51 darts, if the leg has not been completed, the players will bull up, and the player who gets closest to the ball will be the winner of the leg. It's a good job we don't do that after 21. <laughs> Five face you require seven. a different tournament, wouldn't it? It would make a uh, few different names, that is for sure. Double three. He's bust. No score. He, he would rather bust and go he's, back to 72. Saying, to go, why is he celebrating? I don't think he knows <laughs> what's what going on. I'd like he's to see the celebration if this was to go. I mean, I can't tell you what he's supposed to go for. <laughs> right, lose require. As far as tie face is concerned, he thinks that he's got all the time in the world here. Oh, hang on. He's on a finish here. I mean, it's not going to go, but <laughs> for that brief second, we all held our breath and thought, imagine. There was a chance. 79. I'd rather have some chance, wouldn't you, than no chance. 5 you require 72. Well, there, he's levelled it back up. And he's found the treble 20 again with the first dart. Lovely little two darts. <laughs> <laughs> what a finish from Pie Face. It Shame McGurk enjoyed himself. Oh, absolutely. Everyone's enjoying themselves <laughs> down there. A really good finish from Pie Face, who really does sort of vindicate the decision that he made to bust the score Ball, in the shot before and reminds us that actually this is a guy that can, on occasion, throw some very good darts and could make quite a good semi final with the darts referee. Yeah, that's what I yeah, yeah. 45. <laughs> Three interesting things about yourself. There's a question that we ask the influencers on their way 44. in. 44. And Lewis Bolden's are, well, different. See, I told you I'd steal it, didn't I? Different. <laughs> um, he, he likes the Scissor Good. Sisters. Good. His middle name is Paul. And get this one. He's scared of clowns. Six. Okay. <laughs> Definitely didn't go to the circus as a youngster then. Or maybe that's what scarred him. <laughs> it's just interesting that out of all the years that he's walked the earth, they're the three things that he thought would be the best to put over on commentary. <laughs> 24. Yeah. Not quite a sort of got it into darts over the Christmas period, as a lot of people do when the World Championships is on. Darts just tend to go through a very big boom period. 85. I think a certain youngster has helped that along. <laughs> yeah, Luke Little up making the World Championship final. Really did boost the numbers and the interest in the sport and continues to do so. And we sort of feel we're getting the second coming of that this year with what we're seeing from Bo Greaves. I can remember a few years back watching a um, youth final at don't know if it was Wales or Irish or something. Um, and it was those two in the final against each other when I think Bo was maybe 16 and Luke was 12 or something like that. And I can remember watching that thinking, yeah, if I don't do something soon, then these guys are going to come and absolutely take over. Switch back up to leave a finish. 
Yeah, they are going to be steamrolling darts for many years to come. Like in this game here, Pie Face, absolute steamroller performance over Lewis Bolden. About 200 points ahead on the scoreboard. And I don't think this game's going to have too much longer in it. As long you know, as he can get the job done. We're in a situation here where Lewis Bowden is about to win an award. I think he's about to take something that I never thought anyone would take. On, Lewis, put a bit of pressure I on think he's going to take the Come crown on. off of John Norman Jr. as the most exaggerated good. dart player of all time. <laughs> And that's definitely a different character. Yeah, if you're unfamiliar with what I'm talking 46. about there at the end of this, check out John Norman Jr. Five playing with John Part in the World Cup of Darts. It was, well, one of my favourite games ever. Or well, John Norman Jr. versus Doors from the Shell. <laughs> John Norman Jr. versus Ed. Why can't we get more John Norman Jr. <laughs> down here at the Super Series? That's what we need. Bring him across. Sure, you won't want to be in the same group as John Norman Jr. Uh, not for me personally. No, I'm joking. You're gonna make it. Go. On. But yeah, you gotta play anyone. You gotta play. <laughs> did drop the dart there, did Lewis Bowden, which means he can throw it again. Needs to be thrown in an overarm, deliberate fashion. Oh, wow. <laughs> the crowd was jeering, the crowd was giving him a little you bit of stick there, the expecting him one, to hit you? the three. The one there, didn't you? And Pied then he the absolutely the trolled seven. them, piling in a treble 20. Oh. Ironically, I think that's the first treble 20 he's hit all day. 102. <laughs> <laughs> I think he did the Vince McMahon walk there, didn't he, to the hockey? You know, it's Bowden. I mean, he's needing a bit of a miracle here just to even get an opportunity. Pie face now 28. on a two darter, and a two darter that face, is likely to give him a shot at the double here. He's got all those options down the bottom, all those odd numbers to leave on a double. And it is the double eight. Oh, you didn't know what you were going for then, did you? That's all it was, yeah, yeah. 60 left, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised he's fair enough. I was about to say, I'm surprised he's gone that way after the slate in the 32s and the 16s earlier. <laughs> well, it's gone that way and it's worked out perfect for him. Two good finishers there, which could mean we're going to set up a nice tidy semi-final clash in a moment's time when Pie Face and the darts referee take each other on because they was two good quality quarter-final performances from them. But... We've got another semi-final before we get to that point. Fingaldins takes on Charlie Murphy.